<laughs> Do you see analog style videos of terrifying situations and abominations portrayed to varying degrees of effectiveness on your glowing rectangles and think, I can do that? Well, now you can. With this comprehensive guide of horrors beyond your comprehensions, you'll be making analog horror videos in no time. Step one, create and cement your concept. Analog horror is a medium of minimalism, which means, like all storytelling, but especially here, the idea is the most important part of the horror. If your ideas are shit or not well developed, you're already dead in the water. Anything can be horrifying. Think of what scares you. If you can't think of anything, here's a tip. Think about an older generation of horror to adapt. Creepypastas, old movies, TV shows, SCP archives, porn. This is a common thing creators do in analog horror. And if the movie industries can reboot stuff, God damn it, we can too! After you've gotten your idea, write a rough outline for how you want the analog horror to go. The outline should state the beginning, middle, and end of your story in a clear fashion, which you should then convert into a more detailed, fleshed out script. Make sure to include any photos or video media alongside the script if it makes sense. Your script should read like a complete story, and if someone were to read through it, they should not only understand it, but if possible, they should be unsettled by it as well. Chances are, if you clicked on this video, you already have a great idea for an analog horror. You're just looking for technical advice, so we'll move on. Step 2. Acquire or Create Media After you've fleshed out your story, you have to begin collecting media that you can use in order to construct your video. Depending on what you want out of your analog horror, you'll need to collect or create a varying range of media. Are you going for the text on the screen then reveal style? Then you'll need to create or source those images. Are you going for a found footage video style analog horror? If so, you'll need to do the same for those videos by either sourcing them off the internet or filming them yourself. Whatever style of analog horror you decide on, I would recommend getting some overlays and green screens of VHSs, static, old television glitches, film grain, etc as these are genre mainstains for cultivating the nostalgic environment. Some people think it's cheap, but the genre is full of it anyways. It's worth noting that not everybody has access to a 1990s camcorder, purists. Do it or don't, I don't fucking care. One thing I do care about is, don't skimp on the sound design. I find that the most enthralling analog horrors have the devil in the details. And in a minimalist visual medium like analog horror, sound makes all the difference. Old tech didn't have clean audio like new tech does. Find samples of the background noise of the era you seek to replicate, and compile as many of those as possible. Study the sound of old recordings. If you've collected some to use in your analog horror, they shouldn't be hard to find. Seek to replicate the same audio quality in the video you create. Step 3. Put together the pieces. For this step, you're gonna need editing software. This will work better with something like Final Cut or Premiere Pro, but if you only have iMovie, it's gonna have to work. I would recommend you put the simplest parts together first the bare bones. Put your project together so the story flows through all of its narrative arc, and has every important keystone image and video. Then, watch it through once. It should look like a complete story, a little bare bones, but that's normal. Remember, the devil is in the details. After you have your basic visuals and story in place, add any sort of secondary sound design your video might need. We're talking about music, VFX, mood audio, etc. After this, begin working on the aesthetics and analog sound design. Don't go too heavy with it, because you risk your most important video becoming incomprehensible, and your important audio becoming inaudible. But to sell the aesthetic of the time you're going for, it's key to make sure that the analog aesthetic is both present and apparent. I would recommend, at the very least, a light VHS overlay and some slight audio compression or background static. If you're using Premiere and would like to get fancy, I'll link a tutorial in the description that'll teach you how to make your dialogue quite convincing. Once your video is done, you're ready to post it. I would recommend paying attention to your title and thumbnails clickability in your SEO if you want it to do well, but you know, that's kind of an afterthought for some people. Step 4, this is the most important one. If you don't do this, your analog horror will suck, no one will see it, and also you'll just die. You have to like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled. This is very important, and you cannot skip it. Shout out the inner circle. Love y'all. <laughs>